Hey guys, we're going to read a bedtime story called Ready to Read Level 2, Jimmy Neutron, It's Candy Time by M. Betchen. By Simon Spotlight. Carl and Sheen could not decide which treat to buy at the candy bar. I want something gummy, no crunchy, Sheen said. I want something sweet, no salty, Carl said. I wish there was one candy that had all the best flavors, Sheen said, sighing. Jimmy smiled. A mega candy, huh? I can invent that. Back in his lab, Jimmy filled test tubes with every flavor in the world. Get ready for adventure and taste, Jimmy shouted, pushing buttons. His candy making machine rattled and rumbled. When it was done, Jimmy opened a door to reveal one small piece of candy. Here, guys, Jimmy said, splitting the piece of candy in half. I never ate my own inventions. Carl and Sheen grabbed the candy and gave it a try. Yuck, his friends cried, spitting out the candy. I guess I should keep trying, Jimmy said. The next day, Jimmy brought a bag of new candy to school. I worked all night and tried the thousands of recipes, Jimmy said to Carl and Sheen. Miss Fowl saw Jimmy and asked him to share his candy with, his, with the whole class. Everyone thought the candy was the best thing they had ever eaten. These are cool as me, Nick said. Even if you like the candy. They're okay, she admitted. If you like your candy sugary, tangy, crunchy, and delicious. That night, Jimmy went to bed happy that he made the perfect candy. He woke up in the middle of the night to find Carl and Sheen standing over his bed. Hi, Jimmy, they said, drooling. Do you have any more candy? No. But I can make some, Jimmy told them. It will take about three hours. Three hours! Voices yelled in through his window. Jimmy ran over and looked outside. Everyone from his class was waiting on his lawn. I will never bully you again, Butch promised. I will wear a Neutron's a Genius t-shirt, Sydney yelled. Leaping leptins, Jimmy said. Everyone wants my candy so badly, they are willing to do whatever I want to get it. The next day, Jimmy brought a new batch of candy to school. Everyone was happy, very happy to see him. Miss Fowl let Jimmy decide what the students should study in her class. Coach Grubber told Jimmy he did not have to do exercises in gym class. But when his friends began fighting over the last pieces of candy, Jimmy started to worry. When Jimmy got home, he found his parents fighting about the candy. Tired of all the fighting, Jimmy just... Jimmy decided to dump all the candy into the river. Jimmy flew his rocket all over the city to tell everyone the news. Attention, Retrofill! He shouted. There is no more candy, and I'll be not making it anymore. Thank you. The people of Retrofill were waiting for Jimmy when he landed, and they were not happy. They wanted more candy. They chased Jimmy all the way to the roof of his house. Chopper mode guard, Jimmy ordered. Take me to the most deserted place in town. Jimmy and Garrett land at the candy bar. The mob was right behind them. What am I going to do? Jimmy wondered. Think, think. Visions of his friends gobbling down he, his candy danced in Jimmy's mind. Brain blast! He suddenly, he suddenly shouted. I've got it! He told the candy store owner. Lab mice can be trained not to eat something if it causes them pain. Keep everybody... Here, our problems are solved. A little later, Jimmy stood on the roof of the candy bar. Ladies and gentlemen, he called down to the crowd. I give you all the candy you want. The people of Retrofer were overjoyed with the candy until they realized that every bite delivered an electric shock. Ow, ow! They yelled, it's delicious, but it's too painful to eat. Three days later, everyone was still throwing out the last of the candy. Putting my edible batteries into every piece of candy was a great idea, Jimmy told Carl. I did not take long for people to see that eating my candy just was not worth the pain. I'm just glad everyone is back to normal, Carl said. Stop it! Hey, Jimmy! Bzz, she said, walking over to them eating a piece of Jimmy's candy. That last batch of candy bzz, was delicious. Got any bzz more? Jimmy looked at Carl and shrugged. Well... Almost everyone is back to normal. The end. Thank you for reading. Ready to read Level 2 Junior Time It's Candy Time by Ann Betchen.